Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. It's been quite a while. It's been a very long time actually. Been getting a lot, a lot of messages, a lot of, a lot of emails, a lot of messages everywhere, YouTube, Facebook, I mean, you name it. Um, and it's the same thing, you know, it's the same questions. Megan, where you been? Megan, where are you? Megan, are you dead? That's the funniest one. Megan, are you dead? Like, if I was dead, I'd be able to reply, right? Uh, so I'm going to try to make this short. And if you guys know me, it's not going to be short, you know. The one time you'll know I'm lying to you is when I tell you I'm going to make a short video. You, you might as well say, you know what, let me grab a popcorn. This motherfucker's lying. It's going to be a long-ass video. But I'm going to try to make it short because it's, uh, what time is it? It's, like, it's around 6 o'clock in the morning. I got to go to the gym real fast, come back, and get ready for the stock bucket open. So I can't make this video too long. Um... But I figure, you know what, fuck it. It's about time I make a video, man. I've been trying to make videos for so long, so long. But a lot has happened. A lot has happened. I don't know where to begin, you know. That's why I was like, you know what, every time I want to make a video, I'm like, you know what, where do I even start? You know, there's so much to talk about. So much has happened. Um, and I don't want to, I didn't want to bore you guys with the details. But it's gotten to a point where the requests are overwhelming. I figured after the first three, four months, you know, the hype would die down. People would realize, all right, you know, uh... You know, let's stop bugging this guy. But believe it or not, I have a very, very strong uh, subscriber base, man. I mean, it's been a year, and I'm getting the same messages I was getting when I first started making the videos. You know, they, they, they will not stop, and that, that shows me that it's not, it's not business. It's personal. You know, it's not just about, you know, information. Because if they want an information, there's tons of videos on YouTube. You know, it's about like it's people actually. They're really asking genuine questions. The first three months was people asking, you know, because I, I, I used to check my inbox every now and then. The first three months was people just saying, hey, we need more videos, where you at? After that, most of the messages, 90% of the messages were people genuinely wanted to know what's going on. You know, they were like, yo, Megan, they, they were like my close subscribers, you know. They were like, hey, what's going on? We miss you, blah, 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 you know. And these are the emails I'm still getting to this day, which really, really, it really hits home. You know what I mean? Like, these are people that, it's been a year, people that's hitting you up for a year, Dude, it's not videos that want, you know, it's people that actually, you know, uh, admire you, respect you, like you as a friend, or whatever you want to call it. So I figured, you know what, uh, let's, uh, let's give them something, you know, let's make a video for these, these subscribers, and the rest of, you know, the rest of the people who watch the channel. Um, so, where do I start? God damn, a lot has happened, guys, a lot has happened. Uh, and before I start, I want you guys to understand, I made videos about it before, but if you don't understand that that principle, you won't understand the reasons why I stopped making videos and why I've been going for so long. Uh, and it's the concept of decision fatigue, you know, and I want you guys to, to pay close attention to this decision fatigue. I made a lot of videos about that. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know, but obviously a lot of you guys also don't know because of some of the, some of the questions I'm getting. And it's to keep it simple. It's simply what happens when the person is overwhelmed and has to make a lot of decisions to, you know, throughout the day. And what science has found out is that um, it's a hot field in neuroscience and decision making and things like that. Motivation, you know. Uh, they find out that the, the more decision a person makes throughout the day, the, the worse and worse the decision making becomes as the day progresses. So if you make a lot of decisions in the morning, as the day ends so towards like evening, night, your decision making skills are horrible. And the funny thing is you don't even know it. It's just, you know, they did a lot of tests, to, you know, to prove that. And every single time, you know, it's the exact same thing. And what makes it even worse is not only your decision making ability goes down, your cognitive abilities goes down, the more decisions you make, the more choices you present it with. But your your willpower also goes down, right? which is a big thing. Your motivation goes down, your willpower goes down, which is why most people that fuck up, you know, think like the dumbest decisions you ever made, most of them were at night. Most of them were at night, you know, when you, uh, when you break, on, you know, when you cheat on your diet, it's mostly, that nobody wakes up in the fucking morning and goes, hey, you know what, I can't take it, I'm going to eat a fucking donut. It's normally at night, right? Nobody makes a dumb purchase online in the morning. It's usually around evening, night, you know. Nighttime is when the human being, if he's been up all day, is the most irrational, you know, and that's why a lot of these uh, commercials, you know, that make you buy a lot of bullshit, you know, flood. You know, uh, like around midnight, you know, the stupid ass commercials, you know, like, hey, buy this and we'll, get, we'll send you sensor beans and shit and you find yourself ordering. But, um, so once you understand that, it, everything I'm going to tell you now is going to make a lot more sense. 
So fast forward a few years ago, obviously you guys know what happened with me. Um, I was living my life, minding my own business, being an idiot, sleeping left and right, ended up, uh, you know, becoming a dad. Right? So you guys know what happened. Uh, I became a father at the age of 23. I really wasn't ready for it, to be honest. I was not ready for it. I, I wanted to have a kid at 45. But that's to show you how much I wasn't ready for it. But, you know, I made a lot of mistakes. I was I was sleeping left and right. I, you know, 23 year old, thank you a fuck. You know, and uh, eventually uh, uh, that happened. And it was not only the worst thing, that happened to me, but it was also the best thing that ever happened to me. It was the worst thing in terms of, man, I was not prepared, and, you know, how can you bring a child into the world when you're not even ready? You know, I found out when she was eight months, uh, you know, eight months in the womb. That's when I found out. And I was like, man, that is bad because, number one, like I said, I'm not ready, but then again, I got to bring a soul into this world that I got to be able to take care of, you know? And given the funds that I had at the time, I mean, the channel was called Low Budget Lean Muscles. I was a broke motherfucker because I didn't care. I just traveled state to state. I just wanted to experience the you know, uh, you know, the world, know myself and things like that. So that 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 was a big, big turning point in my life because I had to stop, come dead in my tracks and say, Jonathan, you can't keep living for yourself anymore. Now you're a fucking father. Now you got to live for a kid. You know, now you got to become more responsible and, you know, all that stuff. So that that was the first, you know, like slap in the face, boom. And I was like, damn, I'm also in the middle of college. I'm in the middle of school, you know, like I'm running a channel. I'm doing all these things. How am I gonna manage that? But, you know, I found ways to just keep going. And, you know, you guys know my personality. I hate giving excuses. So I just kept going and, you know, working with the best of what I had. But as she grew older, things got harder, you know? Uh, I, I got closer to graduating. Her mom, uh, which is my girlfriend now, Hannah, uh, also had to go to school. So it was very, very hectic, right? Very hectic. Um, next thing you know, my, my brother came in from uh, from Africa, so I was his guardian. I had to like, you know, he, he's still here, you know, gotta like watch over him, homework, help him adjust to the culture and all these things. So boom, that added to my play, but you know, once again, it's family, you know, I'm not gonna see that as a burden, you know. Uh, but pretty much things kept mounting. Every morning I would get up with this long list of things to do, you know, not even mentioning training, because I used to love training so much, you know, Bible it was like everything to me. Uh, so now you have that and education and working, you know, I was, you guys know I was working like a million fucking jobs. So it got to the point where I was burning out. I was fucking burning out. I mean, my stress levels went through the roof because you know me, I'm a perfectionist. I, I like overachieving and like conquering. So I hate when things are just stagnant or going backwards. I like when things are constantly improving. So that, that personality puts, makes it so that I always put myself in, in, uh, compromising situations, you know, where I'm, I'm always having to achieve and adapt and all these things. So it got to the point where I hit a fucking roadblock, right? I I was done. I was done. I just couldn't do it anymore. I was like, you know what? You know, I get up in the morning, boom, I got to do homework, boom, I got to fucking go to class, boom, I got to check on my baby and, you know, make sure everything is good, boom, I got to check on my little brother, make sure he's doing his homework and he's going to class and all that shit, boom, I got to make my meals for the day, boom, I got to check on my girl, boom, I got to check the channel and see what video to make, you know, mind you, all this is, is you know, it's happening when I'm in bed, and you know, I wasn't even awake yet, I'm still like, oh my god, and then I started stock trading, because I had to find a way to supplement my income, like I said, being a father, I wanted her to have a lot of money in the bank, by the time she, you know, she's, uh, she's, I, I didn't want her to go through what I went through, working like 20 jobs ever since I was 12 years old, so that put pressure on me for me to try to make, you know, even more money, to, in, you know, on top of all the jobs, so I started stock trading, and um, that also drained the fuck out of me because the learning curve was very fucking steep in the beginning. I lost a lot of money in the beginning, like we all do. I mean, it's a 10% it's a success rate. Think about it. 90% of traders fail. So I knew that statistic. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to be among them. So I had to work extra hard to, like, you know, catch up to, you know, catch up to the system, learn, you know, do a lot of research. That took, like, 80% of my fucking day, you know. I mean, it was, it was hell. So... Long story short, I was done, you know, like, everything everything I did in the morning took most of my willpower, most of my strength, and everything I left for nighttime and evening suffered. So I, I was stuck having to decide, hey, what are you going to prioritize? What are you going to do in the morning? Because you know that whatever you do at night, you're not going to do that at, at 100%. So what are you going to do in those first four hours of the day? You're the most productive in the first four hours of the day. What are you going to do then and what are you going to do at night? It was almost impossible to 
to allocate because what am I gonna sacrifice and push towards the you know later on in the day my daughter my brother you know uh, a school you know trading my you know my job it wasn't gonna happen and I was like you know what it's too much man it's too much so I burnt that I went to the doctor because I, I know this you guys know I never go to the fucking doctor you know I'm 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 cocky like a motherfucker I fucking hate you know I always wait till the last minute before I go you know but I was having everyone's like Jonathan just just you know Go, go to the doctor, you know, get some blood work done, see what's going on. Because I, I was having all the symptoms of somebody who's burnt out. Let me pause and we... Hey guys, the camera is used to cutting off for me, so I had to like make sure I turn it off and put it back on. It's still that bullshit ass camera, by the way. Uh, collecting dust somewhere under my bed. But yeah, so I went to the doctor, got some blood work, and boom, it was the worst news ever, right? My one of the things you look at to see your mental health because I was like, man, my motivation is, is 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 dying. I'm burnt out. So I got my my blood work done. They looked at my you know where my body's running and shit like that. And one of the biggest alert was obviously my cortisol levels were too high, which is understandable. And I was like, fuck. What about my testosterone levels? You know, you guys know if you're a man, your testosterone levels are everything. They're fucking everything. I mean, testosterone does everything if you're a guy. Motivation, strength, uh, you know, uh, everything, everything. And they were at 500 and I think 30 something or 70 something. I don't know, but it was fucking horrible, right? Cause that's the testosterone levels of like a 70 year old guy. And I was like, fuck. And the doctor was like, dude, like, what are you, what are you doing? You know, like you, you burning yourself out, you know, uh, uh, take a break, you know? And I was like, I can't take a break because I have so many things that, uh, you know, that I'm managing. I'm doing this by myself. I have no support. You know, I mean, obviously I have like the support of my friends and, you know, family and things like that, but really I'm doing everything by my fucking self. Uh, you know, paying for school and all these things. So I was like, you know what? I, I'll see what I can do, you know? So you guys know me. What do I do when I, whenever I'm stressed? The gym is my sanctuary. I told you guys, 90% of the time I train, it's not for, yeah, I like bodybuilding. Yeah, I like building muscle. The gym is really my fucking sanctuary. That's my hyperbolic time chamber. I go to the gym because it's quiet. It's, it's I mean, it's it's a familiar thing. It's where, it's like my meditation ground, you know? So when I heard that, that news, I was like, you know what, fuck all this, I'm going to the gym. I went to the gym, and sure enough, I, you're not supposed to train. You know, you're not supposed to overtrain, I should say, or train too hard. I don't like using that word. You don't, like to, you don't, you don't want to train too hard when your, stress, when your stress levels are too high because you bring them even higher. So sure enough, brought my stress levels even higher. A few months later, I was like, you know what, I'm still going to like try to do everything else that I was doing. I'm not going to stop making videos. I'm not going to stop doing any every everything else I'm doing on top of my daily routine. But the the, le the least I can do is uh, uh, make videos in the car. And that's when I started making the car videos, if you guys remember. So this thing is old. So I started making car videos. I was like, all right, you know what? Let me try to do two things at once. While I'm driving to work or to the gym, I'm going to make videos. You know, this way, you know, I, I don't have to allocate a specific time for that. You know, keep the team growing. You know, keep giving advice and helping the people that, you know, that are asking me questions every day. So, and so I started making the car videos. And then even that was had to take the place of something because before I used to usually, usually put an audiobook, you know, when I was driving or I would just listen to music to calm down. And eventually that got hectic too. So I was like, you know what, just, you know, some, something has to give. I go back to the house, you know, to the, to the blood work shit a few months later, testosterone levels. I had 304, 304 guys. I was like, what? How do you go from 575 to 304? Doctor was like, whatever his name is, he was like, dude, you gotta do something. Your stress levels are through the roof, and your cortisol is fucking up your hormones. You need to like get, cause I wasn't sleeping, I was eating bad, you know, I was fucking up on my my diet, if you call it that. I was gaining weight. It was it was just horrible, man. Getting like fucking twenty pounds, and I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm not giving up, you know. So around that time, I started. Um, that's when I stopped making the videos, by the way. So around that time, I was like, you know what, fuck this shit, man. You know, I was recording them, but I didn't have time to upload it. So I have a lot of videos that were not uploaded yet. So I was like, fuck everything. Let me just start turning things off so I could focus on it. You know, my education, being a father, being a brother, doing all this, you know, all, all those other things. So uh, I stopped making videos, unfortunately, but I was still responding to subscribers. A lot of you guys noticed I was still emailing. I was still re responding. People were sending me pictures. So I was still doing like free, oh, free ghetto ass training online, if you think about it. But after a while, I was like, Jonathan, come on, just stop, stop. Give yourself the break that you need. You need to reset, reassess, focus on your education, you know, uh, get at least your three degrees out of the way, which I finally got eventually. And, um, you know, you're going for a master's. You can't compromise that time of your life, you know. Something something has to give. So, uh, make a long story short, 
How long is this fucking video? God damn it, man. See, I knew it. Uh, make a long story short, I um, I stopped everything. So I stopped making videos. I stopped training. Uh, I, I would still go to the gym to train for, like like I said, the whole therapy thing. But as far as, like, diet and checking my weight, and I didn't give a fuck. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to the gym, lift iron to feel better. Uh, but I didn't give a fuck. So, obviously, I was eating bad. That, that fucked me up even more. Because, you know, when you eating healthy for a long time and eventually you just go, you know, go berserk, your body reverts to your fucking genetics. And you guys know my genetics. I got the fucking puffy cheek, skinny, uh, uh, skinny fat genetics. So, that started coming back in. The good thing is because I, I turned off some of these things, you know, I was able to allocate the energy and those resources towards everything else. So, my, my GPA went back up, graduated, got my three degrees on deck. Uh, got accepted into Virginia Tech. I think I was making videos around then. I don't, I don't remember, which is which is a whole different chapter. I can't cover everything into this video because that, that was probably the most stressful part of my life because I was going to school, Hannah was going to school, and I don't believe in babysitters. So uh, we had to literally bounce the baby back and forth. So when I had class at 3 p.m., I would give the baby to Hannah and go to class. Then she has class at like 4.15, so I would drive back, take, take Natalia, Sent her to class. I mean, it was crazy. I mean, it was bad. It was really bad. And that was the first time in my life, in like since I dropped out like years ago, that uh, my GPA dropped like to like a three point one or some shit. And I was like, "Fuck, man!" Like, you would think by by cutting off all these things, things would be better. But here I'm, you know, having to do a whole bunch of other things. So that happened. A lot of things. A lot of other things happened. I don't want to talk about everything because, like I said, guys, it's too much. It's too much. If you want, I'll make a separate video later on uh, to explain it all. But a lot of things happened. Um, where, but, um, uh, but I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still alive. Everyone keeps asking that. Uh, my, my relationships with my friends suffered a lot. My cousin came to fucking visit me. To me, that was one of the most painful things. My cousin, I haven't seen this guy since I was like 10 years old. He came to visit me all the way from Africa and he could only last, he could only stay for like a few days because I was so busy with school and stock trading and, you know, all these things that, uh, we, we couldn't even really have fun, guys, you know, and I, I warned him, I was like, dude, like, if you don't believe me, ask my friends, I don't even go out anymore, I'm either home reading a book, studying, or like, you know, just trying to juggle so many things, and it was painful, because he came, the four, five days went, went by like that, and uh, he went back home, and I was like, damn, man, like, fuck, you know, like, my friends are on the same, it's my family, man, he came all the way from Africa, and we didn't even have time to chill, you know, we didn't have time to, like, you know, like catch up on old time because of how crazy my life is, you know. So uh, that was like one of the turning points. I was like, Jonathan, you know, you gotta, you gotta let something go. You know, you gotta let something go. You know, and at the time I was getting messages to reopen the channel. People were like, hey, where you at? Where you at? I'm like, you guys don't understand. I want to make videos. I love, I love you guys. Like, come on. You know, this is everybody knows. I'm not. I was never on YouTube for the money. Everybody knows that. You know, it, it was. If I was, I would have kept making fucking videos. You know, it was that brotherhood thing that we had. But um, but I just couldn't. You know, I couldn't. But lately, the messages have been piling. Uh, Matt, my lord, my lord, Reggie, keeps hitting me up. Because I was supposed to make videos back in August. And once again, the time was never right. I was like, hey, four months later, just give me four months. Four months came by like that. And I was like, fuck, I'm still not ready. Um, and, uh, you know, hit me up again. He was like, hey, you, know, my, you know, my lord, we got to start making videos. People are asking where you've been. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Some of, them, some of you guys, some of the subscribers I still talk to on Facebook and Actually, I had to delete. I had to like temporarily deactivate my Facebook because I needed more time. But some of them I still talk to, um, and they know the deal. They're like, "Megan, when you coming back? When you coming back?" And, you know, and I'm like, "I was just just watched all the videos." You know, that's when I realized that my my most trusted subscribers they don't give a fuck about the bodybuilding shit and the videos and all that. They just you know, like I said, we developed a relationship. I started making videos like what four years ago, five years ago, I think. So you know that that really that really hit you know that really hit home. So I was like, you know what? I'm still not where I want to be. Yes, because I took this entire year off. I was able to get a lot more things done. Don't get me wrong, a lot more, more things done. But um, I still miss my YouTube family. You feel me? I still miss my YouTube family. I still miss my subscribers. And I wish I could show you guys all the messages that I get on a daily basis. It's ridiculous. You would think after a fucking year that would stop, but no. Like it's like, yo, we miss you. Come back. We miss you. you can't keep seeing it every day without making at least a video. You know. And I tried several times. You know what I mean? In fact, it's not my first video. I made a lot of videos. I made some two months ago. I made one, I think, six months ago. I tried to make comeback videos, but it was just, it just wasn't happening, you know. Uh, even right now, you know, this, I got to find a way to upload this. I don't even know if I'm going to upload this fucking video because it's like the third, fourth video that I'm making. But uh, I think I probably will because... Uh, 
it's uh it's been over a year already you know it's been over a year already but um so yeah so this is where i've been there's a lot more but like i said i'm trying not to make this too long even though it's probably 20 minutes by now i've missed a lot but um um i don't regret it you know i don't regret it because i was able to grow i was able to be here for my daughter a bit more it's still not the amount of time i want to spend with her but you know i was able to spend a lot more time with her with my brother and things like that but I think it's uh, it's time. Also, I got that's another thing I forgot. So, yeah, I got promoted at my job. At one point, I was assistant manager, so that was even more responsibilities I had to like handle. You know, and you guys know I was a tutor. I tutored like over thirty fucking courses, so my brain was always getting fried solving people's math problems and shit, and mentoring and coaching. But even that, I had to let go. That's another thing I had to let go. You know, I I quit my job in like February. It's a long story. You know, some bullshit happened. I was like, you know, fuck you guys. I'm out of here. Um, uh, I missed the job. I missed the people I worked with, but it was too much bullshit going on. Uh, I don't want to get into the details, but so I was like, oh, you know, at least I have more hours now to, you know, focus on, you know, on me. Nope. Wrong. Wrong. Because the moment I got six hours freed up in my schedule, now it's all the things that were pending that just come in. I was like, you got to do this. You got to do this. You got to do that. But enough, uh, enough babbling about all of that. This is what happened. This is where I've been. You know, a lot of other things happened too. I got into a motorcycle accident, fucked up my foot, couldn't train for like months. Uh, you know, so I was pretty much just sitting all fucking day, you know. But um, as of right now, this is the second question I'm, I'm getting is, will the channel reopen? Yes, I, I'll, I'll try. I, I don't want to promise anything. See, that's why I didn't want to make this video because I don't want to promise anything and not be able to, you know, to do it. Like I always say, I, I told Matt too, I was like, the reason I'm not making videos is because I don't want to bullshit. I don't want to... If I can't do something 100%, I don't want to do it. I don't want to make one video a week or every two weeks or shit like that. But he told me something that makes sense. He says it's better you make one video a week for your subscribers and for the, you know, for the rest of us that want to hear your, you know, you know just want to hear from you than, um, than zero. He was like, hey, you know what? It's, you know, it's simple, but it makes sense. It's better to make a video a week than zero videos in a year. So I, I'll try to make videos. The good thing about this long-ass break, though, it's that I've learned a lot of shit, guys. A lot of things I want to share with you guys. Life in general, you know, Team 3D, never die, dominance in direction, being the best that you can be, growing, uh, growing as a person, growing financially, you know, just everything. Tons of advice just, just waiting to dump with you guys. Because one thing that I didn't fucking stop doing was my daily routine. I didn't stop that shit. I'm still doing my daily routine, you know. Um, so if I do start making videos, which I probably will, uh, the good thing is there's a lot of stuff coming. Oh, my God. I mean, almost every to every topic that's out there. That's one thing I, I give myself props for. I was able to use this break to triple my understanding and my wisdom and my knowledge. And you guys know that's one of my biggest passions is to just keep learning. Um, so, yeah, uh, right now the summer is there. Uh, I decided not to take summer classes so I could have more time to focus on other things. But I, I've tried to use this time to make at least one video a week. You know, I try. You know, I, I really miss you guys. So I, I try to make at least one video a week. Um, a lot of segments, I'm going to pretty much revamp everything, a lot of segments, a lot of the questions that you guys have, just let me know. I'm also, I also decided to start training again, so I'm going to start, like, training, training. Like I said, I still go to the gym, but it was never for, like, uh, hypertrophy, it was just for, like, uh, you know, therapy and shit. But I'm actually going to start, I'm actually on week, day eight now, uh, of my training, my real training. Um, so dieting, we, you know, started, I, I went up to as high as like 226 pounds which is ridiculous and it was a fucking muscle it was just a fat fuck uh now i'm down to 220 i, I started to diet what seven days ago i'm already down eight pounds uh which is insane it's mainly, mainly a lot of water weight too so that's what i'm doing now i'm trying to get back in shape uh trying to get my size back trying to get a little leaner uh, i'm not trying to go back to fucking below 190 because you know i'm not that's a whole that's a whole different story i'm not trying to be fucking skinny lean again i'm trying to get as big as possible as always that was always my goal but um anyway that's all that's not for a different video so that's what i'm doing now you know just still trading that that's still taking a, a big part of my life still being a dad uh you know still taking care of my bro my uh, naji's here from new york that's one of my closest friends since i was 13 years old he was 450 pounds so we're trying to you know i brought him down here to try to help him get his life back together he's down to three uh 70 360 so i'm working on him on that, what else am I doing? So it's pretty much the project I got. I'm, I'm gonna make a separate video telling you guys the project I got going now. But uh, as far as videos, yes, I'm answering your requests. Uh, I will make videos again, you know, uh, and I will try my best to at least keep them to at least one a week, you know, at least one a week. 
So that's it. Um, I miss you guys. I can't wait to see what I missed on YouTube. I know a lot of changes have happened. I've gotten some messages here and there. Can't wait to see what the what the field is looking like. And you know, can't wait to bring, you know, share this journey with you guys. Uh comment below. Uh hopefully some of my some of my uh, OG subscribers are still here. Surprisingly the channel has grown a, a lot while I was gone, which is a which is a good thing, I guess. But um can't wait to talk to the new subscribers. Comment below. Let me know what you guys uh, have as far as questions. Uh, I'm actually excited to be back. You know, I love helping people. You know, and it's only right that I that I that I keep the channel going because this channel means a lot to me. You know, so again, yeah, the Team 3D movement it was not just some shit that just sounded cool that I wanted to throw out there. You know, you guys know I believe in growth, constant progress, constant growth, being the best that you are. You know, being the best that you can be. And that can only happen once you master yourself and once you have a clear understanding of your vision and your purpose. And I feel like all these problems in the world that, that I hate and I, I wish would be solved, I feel like those things can only happen when the average man, the common man like you and I, rise up, find our crowns, and dominate. You know what I'm saying? This is what Team 3D Man is like. Find every single guy out there and help him put his fucking crown back on so we could solve the problems that are going on in our world, you know. I don't believe that somebody else has to solve that shit because you you give the worst problem to somebody else, he might make them worse. That's what's been happening lately. So, I sorry guys, the video cut off for me. It's just something I fucking talk too much, but yeah, uh, like I was saying, you give the worst problems to somebody else, they'll just make them worse. So I feel like we're in charge of our future, we're in charge of our of our destiny, one hundred percent. You know, the only thing that's missing is that realization of who we are, you know, and, and that's, I feel, like, I feel like that's what my purpose is, you know, it's not only to be the, 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 the best that I can be, but to help others reach that, reach that goal, I believe in brotherhood, I believe in, in unity, you know, I grew up a very lonely ass kid, guys, I, I give you guys a lot of stories, you know, there's, there's still more to come, but that, that helped me realize the importance of, you know, that, that we all have, the, you know, the role that we all have to play, you know, because when you grow up introverted and, and, and alone and, you know, you, you observe. That's all you could do is sit back and observe and wonder, why is this happening to me? Why, you know, why is so-and-so treating me like this? Why is the world like that? You know, you, you ask all these questions. And when you get older, when you come of age, you either accept the way the world is and just get a regular, you know, life, or you decide, you know what? Why not try to change it, you know? You know, even if it doesn't come true, at least I tried. You know, so that's what I believe in. That's what Team 3D is for, you know? Giving a crown, helping each guy find his crown, each girl as well. You know, and once we're in that position, we'll be able to make the changes done necessary. And it starts with the little things. It starts with the little things. Your body. You know, I always talk about body, mind, and spirit. It starts with your body, taking care of your body, growing. You know, achieving your goals. Whether you want to be big and buff or lean and and ripped or whatever. You know, because once you master that, you get the extra boost of confidence, move on to the next level. And now you you go to your mind. You go, hey, I, I got to shop in my mind. You know, and that's what the discipline part of Team 3D is. You know, you just you put the you put the controllers down, you put the TV, you know, away, and then you read books, you educate yourself, and then the whole spirit thing. You know, you guys know Team 3D. You guys know what every letter stands for. So, um, uh, it's only right that I come back. It's only right that I keep the vision going. And who knows? You know, once I'm going, it might even get bigger and bigger. And eventually, whether my time or somebody else's time. The world, you know, the world would be a better place. It sounds cheesy, but that's, that's ultimately the goal. Especially now, now, now that I have a kid, it means even more to me because I know that, you know, on my deathbed, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have that thought, you know, like, hey, did you make the world a better place for your child, you know, or did you at least try? You know, so how much more when we all on the same page? Anyway, guys, make sure you guys love y'all. Hope you've been dominating this entire time. Um, I'm still here. I'm still alive. You guys know I'm no quitter. You know, I, I, I could have let that shit, you know, make me just give up and run away and go somewhere. But, nah, I've been grinding. So I hope you guys are still here. And if you're not, I'm here for you. You know, I'm not I'm not going to bash you. So stay tuned for a lot of great videos, a lot of good, you know, a lot of good content. If I could stick to my promise of making one video a week or probably more. And um, let's grow together, guys. All right? Team 3D. I'm out.